Hey everybody. So today we're starting on some timber frame sawhorses. Um, I did download these plans from timberframehq.com and I will put a link down below for I got these free plans. And uh, you give them an email and they'll send you out the plans. So I modified the plans a little bit from what it was originally. Um, they had rough stock and I ended up getting S4S um, 4x4s from the supply house and then some 4x6 fur um, that I had to special order. Um, but um, part of this is a pl uh, some I've never done this so I want to get a little taste for it before I had it when I had and um, I'm planning to build a pergola this winter. Um, and I've got all the materials ordered out and be working on that. So, um, so first thing I did is get uh, kind of cut all the tendons. Uh, one of the things I did do, and I found out later, but other people have done it, is uh, I built a spacing jig um, out of the plywood that you saw earlier that uh, made sure my tendons were all the same size and uh, cleaned them up that way. Um, and after I got done with all the tendons, and then I started with the uh, mortises. Um, and uh, used the Forstner bit and uh, get them to the depth that needed to. And then I picked up a inch and a half framer, framing chisel. And these are actually an inch and a quarter wide. I made them a little bit narrower because it's three and a half inch stock instead of four inch stock. So I couldn't go the full inch and a half that you would normally go. Um, so these are an inch and quarter in uh, width. Cleaned those out, got those down to the depth, and once they were all cleaned up and fit, fitted well and to the depth that I wanted, then I um, did the scored them down and uh, ran them back on the table saw that at half an inch because they're set down inside uh, half an inch down in. So went back, cleaned that all up, and slowly fitted each one of these. Um, I was amazed how much time this actually takes. Um, it's just a sim simple little sawhorse. I'm not sure how many hours went into doing this, but um, each joint I fitted individually. I actually numbered uh, the joints as I went along, so I knew on each different sawhorse we did two of them. So I numbered the joints, you know, one through six, and lined it up so I made sure that I fitted each joint. Um, they should be interchangeable but you know sometimes they might be a little bit off. Um, so, so there's that's the, the cross piece now. I'm, I've got the 4x6 that uh, I'm using for the feet and the top of the uh, sawhorse. Getting those cut to length. Uh, I believe that was one of the tops and one of the, probably one of the legs. Um, got those all cut to length. And then back into doing the mortises for the legs and the tops. This would be um, this is one of the, f the feet, slowly building it, you know, cutting them down, um, and uh, definitely I'm using the MFT right now, but that is not made for this. Um, it's wiggling around quite a bit, um, so one of the plans this winter is go ahead and get a nice uh, solid workbench that I can uh, go ahead and uh, put this together on, again, cutting more the mortises in using the table saw when I can, band saw. Now if I was working on larger pieces this would have to be done more by hand uh, but these are small enough that I can use them on the table saw and go ahead and get them cleaned out and you know, use it while I can. I believe the 
first day I worked on this, I spent approximately eight hours working on that and uh, was pretty exhausted by the end of the day. Um, that uh, Trying to get that all done, fitted. There you can see the MST moving around. So um, That would be one of the feet. Just checking my joint. I'm pretty happy with all of them the way they came out and how solid they are. And so after I get the foot like that, then I laid out um, this little taper, cut that on the bandsaw. So it'd have four feet rather than a flat. Um, and then using the clamps. Um, I didn't draw bore these. Um, I didn't think it was that necessary, but I actually clamped them pretty tight and uh, then undersized the holes just a little bit. Drove in just some regular dowels and uh, did it that way. So at the end of the day, these are pretty solid and uh, I don't think, I think they'll last me for a very long time. So uh, again, I'll put some a link to the plans on this. And uh, upcoming we'll have a, uh, I've got, it, the pergola is going to be 22 by 16. Um, it'll be on, s have six posts and uh, be going to doing some scarf joints and uh, some, a lot of mortise intended. So here's the final product. So again, it was a good learning experience and uh, glad I did this before I do dove into the main project. And, uh, yeah. Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.